Well, these some of the great moments for France at the end of the 2018 World Cup final. We've had 64 matches, some fantastic games, some great players. And at the end of it all, France will leave tonight for Paris, or tomorrow indeed for Paris, with the World Cup trophy. Uh, Eamon, let's just reflect on the tournament itself, because, you know, be, on the first day it started, we sp spoke about, you know, the, the, the threat of hooliganism. Yep. We had fears about racism, security, all that sort of thing. We did see a protest on the pitch uh, during the final today, which the Russians and FIFA will not be at all happy about. But has it been a good tournament overall? Yes. Uh, the host nation have been very good. Uh, that the hooliganism problem hasn't existed, nor has the racism problem. Uh, and the people who went there say uh, it's been fine. In footballing terms, the f it was very much a European... It has been successful. It's been very engaging. Nations have been able to engage. There have been great matches, lots of goals, and very little negativity. Um, you'd wonder about South American, the great South American nations, Brazil, Argentina, some of the great European nations. Italy never got there. Uh, Spain, a uh, really old, tired team, uh, gone. England, well, the jury's out on them. But... Uh, but uh, overall, I think it has engaged people. It would make people love the game more and encourage more people to play the game. That's the measurement, isn't it, guys? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I think any kid who's followed that for the last month yeah. or so will be hooked on football forevermore. Yeah, yeah there'll be a lot of uh, sad people that it's over, I can tell you. The, the last thing we want to do, and the level of negotiation, and basically the rows that these three have had over their team of the tournament, <laughs> have been unprecedented. I stayed out of it completely. Here's the fruits of their labours. Let's have a look and talk us through your team of the tournament, gentlemen, because you worked real hard on putting this together. You two can talk about well, it. Well, I, I start with the back. Uh, Pickford, I think he's been the most solid keeper. He made some crucial saves when he needed to. Uh, Standard was probably the one against Colombia when they conceded after the, from, from the corner. Um, Mojica, very good going forward, solid defensively. Um, so uh, left back from Colombia. And then the other three from France, I think Umtiti and Varane. Varane should have had a shout for play of the tournament. I know they don't like to give it to defensive players. I think Varane was an absolute rock in that um, French defence and then uh, Pava on the right hand side who scored a crucial goal, the equaliser against Argentina because if Argentina would have hung on for another five or ten minutes maybe we would not have seen France in the final. Liam, midfield. Well, midfield, that's my area. Yeah, Modric uh, was a no-brainer for all three of us. Uh, Kante, again, a no-brainer. He didn't play well today. Pity for him. And I thought Griezmann really helped his midfield. Uh, in the in the crunch matches against Belgium and today he was back working and yes he can attack as well uh, and I leave the three up front to Eamon although I don't think Eamon was totally in agreement about Mandzukic but the other two you were weren't you? Eamon? Yes absolutely uh, Hazard Hazard was very very good uh, Mbappe is wonderful and, and thrilling to behold and imagine what he might do in the future Mandzukic was very, very brave, as he showed in the goal that Larissa's mistake allowed. Very brave and has a distinguished career behind him. No problem with that. It was a bit of a sympathy vote, Manzoukic. Yeah. We yeah. couldn't put uh, um, the French centre forward in. Did you really? No. no. <laughs> that, would have well, been that, a, that would have been a sympathy vote. Yeah. No, well, that, what did it, what's his stats? You know, he didn't score one. a goal. He didn't, he didn't no. get a shot on target. Harry but, Kane, you know, I think. Harry Kane might have had a shout. He won the gold. The gold he scored yeah. six goals uh, for England. And uh, Harry will feel our He might have had a shout. When Harry hears. He when Harry he hears. He when wasn't mentioned here. He, wasn't, yeah. he didn't play well. He didn't play well, and he got three penalties and one goal that he didn't know anything about. It hit off no. his heel, so... 100%. No, I, I agree with you. Kane, Kane, Kane wasn't in the equation. The only other one I could think of was Lukaku. Yeah, OK. Would have been a good shout. And interesting. See what I mean about the rows about the team? It'll go on all <laughs> night. That's only one version. Come back to us next week, we'll have a different version. And, of course, Luka Modric uh, finishes with the Player of the Tournament uh, Award as well. Well, we're kind of sad this is over.